53, Tabari. When the Jusham tribe leader, Rifa'a, came within range, I shot an arrow into his heart. I leapt at him and cut off his head. Then I rushed towards the encampment and shouted, Allah u Akbar! The families who were gathered there shouted, Save yourselves! They gathered what property they could, including their wives and children. We drove away a great herd of camels and many sheep and goats and brought them to the messenger. I brought him Rufa'a's head, which I carried with me. The prophet gave me thirteen camels from the herd as booty. 54. Tabari The prophet sent Ibn Abi out with a party of sixteen men. They were away for fifteen nights. Their share of booty was twelve camels for each man. Each camel was valued according to his being worth ten sheep. When the people they raided fled in various directions, they took four women, including one young woman who was very beautiful. She fell to Abu Qatala. The prophet asked Abu about her. Abu said she came from the spoils. The messenger said, Give her to me. So Abu gave her to him, and the prophet gave her to Mamia. 55. Tabari Allah's apostle sent us to Edom. This was before the conquest of Mecca. As Abdat passed us, he greeted us with the greeting of Islam, peace be upon you. Think about how perverted and deceitful that greeting was and continues to be in the midst of this barbarism. So we held back from him, but Muhalim attacked him because of some quarrel and he killed him. Then we took his camel and his food. When we reported what happened to the Prophet, he said that the following Quran was revealed concerning us. Believers, when you are journeying in the path of Allah, be discriminating. 56. Tabari and Ishak While the polytheist supervised the Hajj pilgrimage, the Prophet sent out his expedition to Syria and its members met with disaster at Muta. This was supposed to be the first Islamic raid on Christians, but it didn't go well. 57. Tabari Allah's apostles set out on the expedition against the people of Mecca in the month of Ramadan. Ishak The Muslims met them with their swords. They cut through many arms and skulls. Only confused cries and groans could be heard over our battle roars and snarling. 58. Ishak The Apostle sent out troops to the territories surrounding Mecca, inviting men to Allah. Amongst those he sent was Khalid. He was ordered to go as a missionary. Khalid subdued the Jadmia and killed some of them. 59. Ishak and Tabari Those tribes, the sheepherding clans of Hawazin and Thakwif, assembled after hearing about how the messenger had conquered Mecca, thinking that the Muslims were intending to invade them next. When the Prophet heard that they had decided to defend themselves, he went out to meet them at Hunyin, and Allah, the Great and Mighty, inflicted defeat on them. Allah has mentioned this battle in the Quran. 60. Tabari The messenger and his companions went directly to Ta'if. Muhammad encamped there for a fortnight, waging war. The townsfolk fought the Muslims from behind their fort, None came out into the open. All of the surrounding people surrendered and sent their delegations to the Prophet. After besieging Ta'if for twenty days, Muhammad left and halted at Jirnya, where the captives of the Huyain were held with their women and children. It is alleged that those captives taken numbered six thousand with women and children. 61. Tabari In this year, the messenger carried out a military expedition to Tabuk. Muhammad wanted the people to be fully prepared, so he informed them that his objective was the Byzantines. The Muslims disliked the idea because of their respect for their fighting ability. 62. Tabari Hatim said, Adi, whatever you are going to do before Muhammad's cavalry descended upon us, do it now, for I have seen the banners of his army. When the Islamic cavalry left the settlement, they took Hatim's daughter along with other captives. She was brought to the messenger with slaves from Tai. He put her in an enclosure by the door of his mosque where the captives were detained. 63. Tabari The messenger sent Khalid with an army of 400 to Harith, a South Arabian tribe, and ordered him to invite them to Islam for three days before he fought them. If they were to respond and submit, he was to teach them the Book of Allah, the Sunnah of his Prophet, and the requirements of Islam to pay Muhammad the money. If they should decline, then he was to fight them. 64. Tabari Abdallah Azdi came to the messenger, embraced Islam, and became a good Muslim. Allah's apostle invested Azdi with the authority over those who had surrendered and ordered him to fight the infidels from the tribes of Yemen. Azdi left with an army by the messenger's command. The Muslims besieged them for a month. Then they withdrew, setting a trap. When the Yemenites were in pursuit, Azdi was able to inflict a heavy loss on them. 
65. Tabari. Muhammad sent Uyena to raid the Banu Abnar. They killed some people and took others captive. Asma was one of the women taken prisoner. 66. Tabari. Muhammad sent an expedition to Ghalib. 67. And to the land of Banu Mura. 68. Tabari. The expedition of Amar and Abi was sent to the valley of Edom. 69. Tabari. Another by Aslami was sent to Gaba. 70. Tabari. And Abd al Rahman was ordered by the messenger to lead an army to the seashore. 71. Tabari. The Prophet ordered the expedition of Usama, but it did not go well because of his illness and because two other Arabs had proclaimed themselves prophets and renounced his authority. Listening to all that butchery gets mind-numbing after a while, and I'm fairly certain that most of you didn't listen to all of it. I wouldn't have listened to all of it either. But, again, this was a for-the-record piece. Now you know everything he did. Well, probably not everything. There were still some things that weren't recorded.